Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are. My name is J.E. Marie and welcome back to another episode of Soul, aka Student of Life. So today's topic is stage two of the four stages of healing, gratitude. Now we talk about the four stages of healing in the episode called From Victim to Victor. I would really recommend going back to watch that if you or listen to that if you have not listened to that yet. It talks about the four stages in its entirety. Um, it does also give a disclaimer that sometimes you need to mix and match the stages a little bit. Sometimes you need to kind of take some parts out, maybe do it in a different order. Again, each situation is different and each person is different. So do what feels right for you. But for today, we're going to be talking about gratitude. Now, why is gratitude the second step after acceptance? Well, when you're able to take a learned lesson from a hard situation, or if you can see how that situation has made you stronger or better in any way, you know that you are then moving forward. Now, in the first step, we talked about acceptance, and the main point of that was being able to look at each of the pieces objectively and being able to acknowledge them for what they are, not necessarily just your perception of said events. So that's the whole point of step one. And the idea is that the reason why you want to heal from this thing is because it had an impact on you. So what was that impact? This is what we're talking about in step two. Once you've looked at these things objectively, think about how it affected you. And once you're able to look at how, what that impact made on you, it you're then <clears throat> excuse me you are then able to ask yourself these questions, which are: How did this event make you better? And what did you learn from this event? What can you implement so that your life changes? These are the questions that you could be asking yourself when it comes to the second step after you've acknowledged said events. And once you're able to answer these questions, then find it within yourself to be grateful for the evolution that you experienced through this said event. Because if this thing had not have happened, then you would not have had this awareness, this wisdom, this life lesson learned. And yes, a lot of people say ignorance is bliss. And this is the reason why. Because when it comes to because, because when it comes to experience, sometimes that comes with pain. Sometimes that comes with stress. Sometimes it comes with the stretching. And that, the discomfort of that is for a lot of us, for a lot of us who haven't had the discipline of really being able to value the discomfort, it's so much of a hindrance that sometimes we'd rather stay, well, comfortable. We'd rather stay in that position where we didn't learn anything. Yet in reality, you're not growing there, which is why life will do things to kind of put you in an uncomfortable spot to force you to kind of make a decision or to force you to look in the mirror and decide okay is this really what I want for myself so once you've had that moment of looking in the mirror and realizing hey I want something different go ahead and find the gratitude now what does this do well the reason why I have it in kind of my set system is because for me personally, it, it helped me to take my power back from the things that I used to allow me to hold me back. The ideas and the habits and the things that my family has said about me or said to me. These were things that kind of just, just ideas that reverberated in my mind or past experiences where things didn't go the way that I wanted them to. These were things that I allowed to kind of just circle and be excuses almost as to why I didn't get things done or live up to my own expectations or up to my own goals because of these things that I allowed to um, basically live rent free in my mind. (laughs) So once I'm able to, once I went through step one and I acknowledged and I'm able to find gratitude, I feel there it's easier to release it from that point. 
which honestly when I'm in when I'm grateful it forces me to be in the moment as well it gives me a chance to be aware of the now and to maintain a presence of mind because I don't know I don't think it's possible I don't I don't I had not done the research on this part um specifically that can you be grateful and not be present can like is it possible to be grateful whether it's for something in the past or something you're experiencing now and not be in the presence of mind and not be aware and conscious so for me personally I feel like when it comes to me being grateful for me it gives me a presence of mind and the third thing it does for me is from there it allows me a chance to separate the person I was which was the person who experienced this thing from the future self or the person who was experiencing a better life because of this thing that happened. And that is also the person that I'm cultivating into existence. So through me being grateful, um, because in the past, I wasn't grateful. When I was hurt and upset and stressed out, I'm not grateful for that experience that I was going through. But once you move past it, and you're able to find the ways that it helped with, or let me speak for me once I was once I moved past it and I'm able to find the ways that it made me better I start acting differently I start thinking differently the hab- my habits are different I'm not the same person anymore and I'm not experiencing life in the same way either so I, I definitely feel the separation in that moment of pure gratitude it, because Again, it's that moment of looking in the mirror. It's the, I can't go back to my old ways or else I'm lying to myself kind of situation. So, yes, yes, yes. In terms of what does gratitude do for the healing process, I definitely think that those are the specific three things that it's done for me. And yes, most definitely. And also something that I want to add is gratitude for me has been a base kind of like a platform state of mind to where I can refocus to any frame of mind from there it's so much easier for me to do that from that spot so let's say that I was super stressed out or something is not going my way or for any reason I'm in a negative state of mind from there I am able to kind of acknowledge and then find the solution if I'm not finding the solution in it find something that steers me towards the right direction or towards a brighter direction and from that moment of gratitude then I feel like I could shift my frame of mind towards anything whether that means I'm trying to get to work whether I'm trying to meditate whether I'm just trying to get out of bed and start my day regardless of what it is gratitude has always been a great base for me to kind of shift the momentum in terms of the way the energy is circulating throughout my day so that has definitely been um, a strong aspect of gratitude which is why I feel like it's so essential for healing especially for me why it worked for me I feel like there was kind of like a breakthrough once I began really implementing this rule um because yes the next step is forgiveness but for some reason I feel like the forgiveness never felt authentic until I started finding something to be grateful for I would try to forgive Yet when I would think about said event, I would feel just as bitter and resentful as I did originally. Yet once I kind of, after the acknowledgement and I I found something to be grateful for, which is actually something that I heard Pretty Boss say. Shout out to Pretty Boss. I heard her make the statement about, um, you know, you attract or you experience what you already have within you kind of thing. So if you're thinking a certain way, you're only going to experience things in that way. Um, The law of attraction, that's what it is. She was speaking about the law law of attraction. However, there is a big piece that a lot of people don't, that a lot of people don't acknowledge or that they're missing completely. 
and it's that you must experience life genuinely. If you feel like somebody stepped on your toes, you're allowed to be upset about it. You are very much allowed to be upset about it. Yet, once you feel the feelings, you acknowledge what happened and you move past and you are ready to move past it, find a way that 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 it makes you better basically everything we've been talking about here find a way that it makes you better and the lesson learned find something you could take with you then that is something that you can be grateful for because yes it did help to shape the person you're becoming yet it helped to shape you in a good way in a beautiful way in a way that that grows you instead of a way that harms you so Yes, I'm definitely grateful that I did come across that video. I don't even remember what it was called because I do feel like it was quite a while ago, at least a year ago. But that was when I really tried to implement gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Just And I just keep saying it because it feels good. And I hope you guys feel good. And I hope you say the word gratitude. I hope you find more things that you feel grateful for throughout time and I pray that it helps you because this has definitely helped me so thank you thank you thank you for joining me on another SOL episode this has been one of my favorites because gratitude is such a beautiful thing (laughs) it's a beautiful thing and again I pray that you guys find ways to be grateful in your life so again thanks for joining me And I wish you all the best on your SOL journey. Bye.